What'd you do? Did you go roller skating or bowling or something? Anybody do that anymore? Roller skate, bowl. I had somebody said they went bowling last weekend. Hi, Adriana. How are you? Oh, okay. Yep. I went bowling. Okay. Nice. Did you have the gutters up or down, Akila? Hey, Elroy. Gutter, the gutter rails down. Oh, they were down. You were actually really bowling. Oh, my gosh. You must be really good then. Hey, Alexis. Really good bowler. Because I was always like 113. That was about all I could get. 113, that was me. I was on. Uh, Hey, hi, Natalia. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Sabrina. How's things going with you? We were talking about bowling and seeing if Akila is a good bowler or not. Uh, you beat your cousin by 200 points. Oh, my gosh. You are a good bowler. You are a good bowler. Man, I'm not going to go bowl against you because you would laugh at me. You just laugh at me. You did go bowling once. Okay. Aaliyah, how, how did it go for you? Uh, if you went once, it was it was fun. Okay. So you had a fun weekend. Did uh, hey, uh, Hayden, did you go bowling too? Yeah, got better. I got a million points. No. <laughs> I would go bowling with you, Mr. Gay. Oh, thanks. Thanks. You wouldn't laugh at me. That would be that would be nice. <laughs> don't laugh. Don't laugh, Mr. Gale. Sometimes I hit the it's like the jackpot. It's like scratch off cards, you know. Sometimes I get a really good score. I get some money, but other times it's like, oh my god, I can't even get the ball there. I went to the sauerkraut fest. Oh, nice. You like sauerkraut? I gotta have a hot dog underneath it though. Did you have a hot dog underneath it? Hot dog and sauerkraut or sausage and sauerkraut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's that's really good. I like that too. Uh, we have a we have a lot of good food here in Michigan, but you guys do too. Anybody see the solar eclipse? Ali, did you see the solar eclipse? You you were telling me about that. Oh yeah, you had rain too. They they were saying though, don't look at it. <laughs> don't you can't look at it directly, so you can't even look at it in a mirror. So it's like you got to be prepared for those kinds of things. So I'm glad because it really you just look at it for a second, not even a second, and hurts your eye. All right, guys, I appreciate you all coming. Twenty five of you, I tell you, we're getting to the nine week mark, right? Nine week. So what does that mean for us? Well, what it means is, okay, so um, progress reports coming out. Progress reports. Reports next week, right? Next week. So get your assignments done by Friday, Friday at midnight, Friday the 20th, 20th at midnight. Okay, bonuses are done, um, assignments in, right? As well as bonus. Okay, bonuses are, we'll be rolling over the bonus. So bonus one will go in um, Monday and then bonus two starts on Tuesday. So 90, so that 100 points um, total, 50 points is going in. So, so we got a Monday the 23rd, right? Monday the 23rd is async. 23rd, that's not 23rd. <laughs> is async, A-S-C-S-Y-N-C, -S async. So we are going to be here grading papers, grading papers. By 4 o'clock, we got to get it done. Uh, 177 days to see it again. I know, that is awful, isn't it? That's a long time. So just to let you guys know, so uh, when you come to class on Friday, uh, Monday, there is no live class. So asynchronous and the end of the school. So try to get as many things as you want. Now, remember, it's a, just a progress report. So that doesn't mean 
that that's your grade because we do a semester grade. You still have till January 12th. But if you're some people in this class are um, nine weeks behind, you're gonna, it's going to be it's uh, uh, got to start moving now. Don't wait till Christmas vacation to start doing work. Right. So January 12th is what they call the hard end of the class. So that means that you if you don't if you start handing in things on January 13th, they won't let you, right? In your grade, you'll have to either retake it or credit recovery. And I have no idea what credit recovery is going to look like this year because there is no time for me to supervise a credit recovery class along with four other classes. I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know how they're going to do it. So um, today we're going to be doing a lot of work on – let me look over this screen – a lot of work with, um, let me turn this on, turn that on, um, vocabulary. So this today is a vocabulary day on metals, non-metals, and metals. So we're going to go here, and we're going to, where did that go? All right. All right, so we need to start a new extension here. Okay, so let me do this. Start to do, do new pair deck. So please get in here. It really helps. Again, like the the uh, thing we're doing with vocabulary, we're going to play a lot of games with vocabulary this week and next week to see if that helps you any better with your grade. I know that some of you guys are already doing it by taking notes and taking flashcards. You remember to put that in the – you might be doing it, but to make, remember to put it in the offline tracker, okay? Put in the offline tracker. Here we go. And again, um, here is the link to the near the pair deck. Uh, I can't get these straight. Pair deck. And if you will please get in there, I would so much appreciate it. I'm going to turn my head this way. Goodbye. All right. So we got a couple people in there out of 29. You guys are my best class for sure, for sure, for sure. So um, I want to get those extra, those bonus points for this marking period is coming up. Hate to say it, I've got in my first two classes, uh, a third of the people are passing with the 60% or higher, which uh, upsets me no end. I don't understand why. So we're going to go to today is the 16th. Let's go to the 16th. We're just going to do a quick review from last. Did I get there yet? One more, one more day. Did 13. All right. Did I get it there? Yeah, 16th. Okay. So let me tell, let me know what you know. Let me see if you can fill those in for me. And while you're doing that, I will give you bonus points to go on, go on next week. Bonus points. I get to see who's doing it, who's participating. We have 13 people, but doesn't mean they have 13 people are going to do this assignment, right? I don't know why, but it happens. Let me see who's in there. All right, Adriana, good for you. Thanks so much. You're always working. Oh my gosh, last week you worked almost every, you worked every day that I took note, took points. Devin's in there. He's working. Thanks, Devin. And Haley, not Haley. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hayden, not Haley. I don't know why I want to call it. Hayden Hughley and Natalia Kastner is there. Where are you? Now, Natalia, you did too. You worked uh, every day last week, but Tuesday for some reason. You might have been... I might have missed you. Sabrina's there, of course. Sabrina's there. Missed her on Tuesday. I don't know what happened on Tuesday. Uh, and Steven's there. All right. And 
and he worked last week a little bit. And then we got Raven. I don't know why Raven's not in there. And Leah and Ryder and Alexis and Madison. All right. So let me show you, you guys, if you're worried about this stuff, you know, again, like, you know, that this is stuff that we should be, um, okay, doing here. Let's see. Who's got it? Who's got it? Proton, neutron. Yep. You're almost there. Proton, neutron, electron. Yep. And almost there. And anybody got it completely? Proton, neutron. Oh, there we go. Who is that? That's, let's see, who is that? That is, let me see. That's Sabrina. Thanks, Sabrina. Everybody's wanting to fill that in. Hey, Rosa. Thanks for getting in there, Rosa. Fill that out, guys. It's good muscle memory. You got good muscle memory when you got that. Uh, uh, and Rosa was here last week all week. And who else is in there? Raven. Thanks, Raven. All right. So you guys know this backward and front forward, I hope. But that sometimes doesn't happen. That's why uh, we are checking to make sure that everybody's got it. Natalia's got it. Madison. Thanks, Madison. I didn't get you earlier. Thanks for getting in there, Madison. Let's see. I can't. There got a couple Joneses in here. Madison. Okay. And who else? Hayden and Elroy. Elroy. I didn't get Elroy either. Elroy. There we go. All right. And Devin and Alexis. Okay, Alexis. Thanks, Alexis. Where are you, Alexis Gibson? Okay, that's what it was. I'm going on to the other act, Alexis. Anybody else? Akila. Thanks, Akila. All right. And anybody else? Aiden. AJ is there. And AJ and Adriana. Okay, all right. Let's take a look at what we got here. So protons, nucleus, neutrons, electron cloud, electrons, right? All right, so if you will um, review, tell me where the parts of, when you see the periodic table, what goes in there? So put the letter by, so like you can do this, you can say element, elemental name, that is C, right? Put a letter down there. Element symbol, you can put down there, okay? So that's the easiest way to do it. All right. Thanks, Aaliyah. All right. So we've got, so just put the letters in there if you want to do that the quickest way. All right. So, all right. Let's see who's got something here. So show some responses. All right, so I think, if I'm not mistaken, this one is Hayden. So C for elemental name, elemental symbol is A, atomic mass is D. Remember, atomic mass, oh, you deleted it. Don't do that. <laughs> what happened? Wait a minute, where did you go? Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, D and B. So atomic mass is the whole number, and the atomic number is the protons plus neutrons and it's got a uh, decimal in it right good good for you guys good job good job good job i don't know okay here just put the name what is this what is this a definition of just put the name right here put the definition right there what is that start doesn't start with a v starts with an m all right it's solid material that is typically hard shiny uh, oh, it even says it right here, right? And solids at room temperature, except for mercury. And it's all of these, all these in blue, right? This is what they have. The examples are all in blue. There's so many more of those than anywhere else, right? All right. So, yep, there we go. We got somebody's got metals on there. Somebody's got metals in there. Let's see who else we're going to show here. I think this one, if I'm not mistaken is Devin. Thanks, Devin. You got it. Metals, right. Exactly. 
All right, so that's metals. And again, like I said, vocabulary, I like this kind of vocabulary. What about this one? It is examples, lack of metals, lack of characteristics of metals. What the heck is this one? Put the name in the middle there, right in the middle, right? Right there, right? Non-example, you know, it is, um, or characteristics, uh, brittle, dull, poor con conductors of heat and electricity. Uh, low melting point, solids, or uh, gases. So, okay. So, right. So, who's got this one? Let me double check here. See if I got found somebody. All right. Okay. Let's do this one. Yep. Let's show this one. It's got one. Yep. That one. There we go. And this is Aquila. Thanks, Aquila. These are non-metals. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Non-metals. So, metalloids have the property sort of like a metal. All right, they have the zigzag line, the green between the they're between the the metals and non-metals. Um, we use silicon chips. If we didn't, we would not have an online school. We would not be working this way. It would be the we'd be uh, be all be in school. And some of you guys like the freedom and the ability to to study when you want to. And you, if you're a night owl, I had somebody that has a. Uh, 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 eye problem and they have to go to get some surgery and so you know that uh, enables them to work at their own pace um, and uh, be off off pace but still have the ability to do this work so the metalloids okay all right so sh uh, shiny hard metals you know you can malleable it means you can smash it into aluminum foil uh, ductile make it into wire uh, metalloids in between uh, metals and non-metals. Non-metals are uh, dull versus shiny, soft versus hard, weak, lightweight. Um, sounds like uh, somebody's going to have a fight who the metals are going to win, right? All right. So um, if you look at this, okay, you did this last week. If you didn't finish the assignment, you were basically supposed to say, well, metals are ductile using this uh, here to kind of help you out. They're shiny. Dull means that they're non-metals. Insulators means that they're non-metals. Uh, properties of both metals and non-metals are metalloids. These are on the right side. Nope, these are on the right side. Uh, these are on the left side. So all of these are on the left side. Metals are on the left side. And the elements in the in the middle are the between the metals and non-metal. The zigzaggies are the uh, metalloids. They're brittle. Yep, that's a non-metal. Malleable means you could smash it in aluminum foil. That is the metals. Good conductors are metal. Uh, poor conductors are uh, non-metals. Some malleable and not so in between. And then semiconductors. Right here is your non-metal periodic table so if you can see that it's the yellow on that side plus you have the hydrogen all the way over there here are the metals most of the periodic tables metals and here is the uh, metalloid so oxygen goes into the non-metals silicone goes into the metalloids metal is sodium and aluminum and then nitrogen goes over here. So that's how you get that done. So if you didn't finish that up, that's a 20-pointer. Get it done, hand it in, right? Um, after Monday, if you hand it in late, I can't give you any help on getting it done. Okay. All right, so let's do this one. Uh, this is called periodic law, the periodic law. Right? Elements are arranged by increasing atomic something. It's at mass or number. Mass or number. So circle A or B for me, please. A or B. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A or B. A or B. Let's see. Anybody got A or B done yet? Nope. But there's Hayden still the only one there. Everybody else was going, oh, Mr. Gale's gone off. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay, remember, I'll give you a hint. It's down here. It's right down there. 
So if you've, uh, you you want to take a look at that spot in the bottom there. All right. All right, so let me take a look at who we got here. Let me see who I got here. Show. I had one person in particular that was doing. There you go. Natalia's got it. It's the atomic number. Protons only. That's how it used to be the atomic mass. That when we had 63, now that we have 118, we put them in by atomic number. Hydrogen have one proton. Helium has two protons. So that's how we do this. Okay, so periodic law, all the elements are raised by atomic number. The same sequences are uh, occurring over and over again. And that's how we get the periodic table. Okay, we are done with the notes today. Okay, so we're going to do this thing that's called, uh, what is it called? This is what it's called. So um, this is, uh, we're going to host this uh, periodic table review because we want you to get a really good score on that post test because that would mean that we are doing the right thing. Okay, so what game, what game, what game are we playing? What game? And I will put this in the poll here. Type, what game are we playing today? Please let me know in the public chat. So let me know, polling. All right, so did I not type, type response? Okay, start a poll, there we go. I said what game, didn't I? What game, I must've hit it twice. All right, start a poll, there we go. Out of 29 people, what game are we gonna play? What game are we gonna play? Hey Colt, how are things going? I haven't seen you. Uh, I know you were having some trouble with the computers and stuff like that. I'm glad you're here. Uh, who else is I haven't seen in a long time? Molly is here and Tara's here. Samayo Stevens, uh, Savannah, uh, Levi, Kendall, Cadence, Justin, Hayden, Francisco, e Elroy, Colt, Aiden, AJ, and Aiden and Adrian, uh, Andrew and Alexis and gosh, you guys, let's see, what do we got? We got cafe. Wait a minute. Candy quest is all right. Crypto cafe. Oh, somebody changed their mind here. So how many cafes we got? We got uh, crypto hack one, two candy quest one, three for crypto hack. And we got three. So I need, uh, oh, we got two for crypto hack. We got two, three, four, five. So it looks like crypto hack today. Crypto hack today. You guys are a bunch of hackers. All right. Okay, going to host you now. I hate Let me get you the link for this, ladies and gentlemen. Let me clear the poll. the link oh by golly sabrina got it before i added <laughs> sabrina my phone started recording what i said and it recorded me saying your name sabrina got in there <laughs> my phone just said let's start recording what he says thanks rosa thanks hayden thanks adriana natalia Devin and Elroy, 10 out of 30, so a third of us. Can we get more than that? Anybody else? AJ, you get in there? Okay. Francisco, Justin, Natalia, Savannah, Steven. We're almost up to 30, a half, a half of it. Thanks, Elroy. Thanks, Kimmy. Tara. Come on, guys. Get in there. One more. One more. We'll have exactly half. There we go. Let's start. All right.
Seconds three, it looks like Natalia. Oh, holy cow, Sabrina, look at you. Did not. Wow, first place. Okay. Okay, so let me um, tell you what's um, going on today. Okay, so if we can look at. All right, periodic table. Nope, this is not it. Let's go here. I will go here. All right. So what we're going to do today, ladies and gentlemen, is access denied. Oh, no. Okay. Week PS5. Okay. So things are a little different today. All right. So what I want to do, okay, is show you guys that uh, modules. If you, um, We're going to use the rest of this time to do some assignments. I'm going to um, uh, do some uh, breakout room stuff. Okay, so here's how this goes. Um, if we go to the module, if you did not finish week eight, okay, if you did not finish week eight, it's due today. So work on that today, right? So it's due today. But if you look uh, on the module page, it says week eight, assignment one and two review. It's a video of the of going over the assignment. So if you didn't do one and two, there's a quick way to get that done. Um, if you also, if you um, didn't get that done, uh, if you go back to when you, if you do the quiz today, cause it's due today, um, make sure that you're using the graphic organizer in the, and then there is week eight quiz Adam graphic organizer right there. So you can use the graphic organizer, go half and half half uh, the quiz and half of the graphic organizer. All right, today's assignments, um, if we go back to the modules, week nine, 
All right, so I've done things a little bit differently. Got the graphic organizers in there already. So I've got um, W9 assignment one, metal, non-metal, and uh, or graphic organizer. And I have the quiz periods and gr uh, groups in there, right? The um, uh, bonus uh, is a um, look at, so it's bonus points. Remember, bonus is only good till Friday, and then bonus starts for the next nine weeks. Also, um, I've, I've done, um, yep, there's the bonus. What else have I done? Okay, so nine W9 assignment one has points, but you'll notice it's a quizzes. So it's not your regular standard quiz. You could do this as many times as you want. So there's a lot of things differently. So if you are interested in that, go ahead and do that. I'm going to be calling people for um, assignments here. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to do... Um, uh, 